Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you how to make a simple scarf. So you'll need some knitting needles. I recommend using ones that are at least a centimeter thick. I'm using thinner ones here because the yarn I'm using is thinner. But if this is your first scarf, I recommend using a thick yarn and trying to use just one color. And you also need a needle to weave in the loose ends. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. And I'm going to show you how to do that here. It's super simple. Um, you basically just make a little loop and pull the thread through the loop and then you just put it onto one of your knitting needles and now we're going to cast on um, the amount of stitches we want and this is going to determine how wide your scarf is so not the length but the width and this is how you cast on with a long tail cast on so you want to have a long piece of thread on both sides so one side is going into your ball of yarn and the other side is just a long thread so you can do it this way and this is how you do it i'm showing you a couple of times so you can kind of get the hang of it and yeah this is um the way i always cast on i know there's other ways to cast on as well so if you don't like this way um you can look on youtube just for videos they'll show you how to do it in a bunch of different ways but personally uh, i really like this way and try to tighten them a little bit, but don't make them too tight because it'll make it harder for you later on to uh, make your stitches, um, like, it will be more difficult. So, yeah, this is just how you do that, and you're going to do that um, until your scarf is the width you want it to be. I think I did about 25 um, stitches, but if you're using a thick yarn, you only need a few. Then when you feel like you have a good amount of stitches, we're going to start our first real row. So you wanna put the needle with the stitches on your left hand and grab your other needle. And we're going to go into the first loop and it can be a little finicky sometimes with the first like few rows. Um, but then what we're going to do is wrap our thread that's attached to our ball of yarn around and put it in between the two needles there. And then you're gonna pull your needle just through right like that. And then you're going to pull it off the other needle. It might have to like adjust sometimes depending on how tight you made your first row of like um, casting on. And then you're just going to keep doing that all the way till you've done all the stitches. And the first row will be a little bit more difficult, but the rows after that will be quite easy. And this is just the basic knit stitch. And there's a lot of other stitches in knitting, but this one is super easy. Anybody can do it basically um, and when you get the hang of it it's really fast and I just like this stitch will create like a little like um, wavy almost pattern and you can also knit and purl together to make a different kind of scarf but this is just a knit stitch to make it super simple and you can finish this I finished this whole scarf in uh, three days and I didn't work on it the whole day so it's like not a huge project and you're basically just going to repeat this stitch row after row until your scarf is the length you want it to be. Um, I'm switching colors a lot in this scarf because I'm using all my scrap yarn, but I would recommend using one color, um, uh, just one ball of yarn. Um, but you still might have to switch because you might run out of yarn depending on how thick you want your scarf to be. So um, I'm also going to show you how to switch uh, colors, but it can also obviously just be switching to a new ball of yarn. Um, because you ran out of the color you were using and yeah this is just the stitch you're going to do all the way basically so um yeah this is just it's really simple and it's really nice i like to watch tv while i do it so i would definitely recommend doing that and now we're at the end of our needle and you're just doing the last few stitches and then there's a super important step that you really can't skip um because it makes your scarf look like a scarf um, so I'm just doing the last few stitches here and then what you're going to do when you've done the last few stitches um, is you're going to switch your needles so you now have all the stitches in your right hand but you're going to want to switch that needle to your left hand because we always work from left to right unless obviously you're left-handed I don't know how that would work because um, I'm right-handed um, but this is how I do it so then you switch this needle to your left hand again so you're always working from left to right basically and then you just do the same thing so don't forget to switch your needles from hand to hand at the end of each row and that's just how you create the length of your scarf
So now I'm going to show you how to switch colors or switch yarn. I'm switching to this light blue color, but if you are knitting for the first time, I recommend beginning a ball of yarn like this that has all the colors already in it. This way you don't have to switch as much because switching is more difficult. And then also you have loose ends that you have to weave in at the end and that can take quite a while, like you can see I have here. Um, so I'd recommend doing one color or picking a ball of yarn that switches colors by itself just to make it easier on yourself if this is your first time knitting a scarf. To switch to a new color, you need your new thread and you're going to put it under the needle with the part that's attached to the ball of yarn on the right side and the having a string on the left side as well that's about 20-25 centimeters just so you have enough to work in at the end. And you're going to just stick your needle in like you would normally do, but instead of just grabbing your original color, um, I like to do it grabbing both colors. And this isn't the neatest way of changing colors. There are ways that will make it look super seamless, but this is a very easy way if you're a beginner. And this is how my grandma taught me when I was a kid. So it's pretty easy to learn. And then the second stitch, you take both colors as well. But then the third stitch, you want to cut off the color that you were originally using. Uh, just cut it off at about 20, 25 centimeters as well. And then you're just going to continue with the new color and this way it's pretty secure in there like I said it's not the most seamless but it is definitely super easy um, I'll link a video that has the super seamless way if you want to do it like that but personally if this is your first time I'd recommend doing it this way um, and you really can't see it that much when you um, are like seeing the scarf from far away and also if you're using the same color you really can't see it at all and then you're just going to continue doing your normal knit stitch all the way to the end. And then when you go back, you just do your knit stitch. And when you reach the end, you have to make sure to grab those two colors together. So you want to make sure you don't grab those individually, but you grab the last four stitches or actually two stitches because we have that extra color. So really make sure you grab those together and not separately because otherwise you'll be adding stitches and we don't want that. Also, something that's important when you're changing colors is that you always do it either on an even row or an uneven. You can't like switch because you'll have these little lines you can see at the back when you switch colors. And I did them all on uneven rows, so I'd do six rows, for example, of one color. And then I would switch to the next color on the seventh row. So always doing like on uneven rows to make sure I have the neat side all on one side and the little lines are all on one side as well. Obviously, if you like these lines, you can do it whichever way you want, but I prefer to have them all on one side and then have the smooth like attachment on the other side. Um, I just think it looks nicer, but do whatever you want. But that is how you make sure that everything is all on one side. Then when your scarf is the length you want it to be, we're going to cast off. So that means we're finishing our scarf, and you're just going to start with making two knit stitches like you normally would but then we're going to do something a little bit different and this is actually I really think this is satisfying and fun to do you're gonna grab the back loop and pull it over the front loop off the needle make sure you only grab the back loop sometimes they might accidentally both fall off then just make sure to put them back on and then you're going to knit another stitch just one this time and take the back loop again and pull it over the front loop and you're basically just going to do this until you reach the end and it's just knitting one and then taking the back one and pulling it over the front one and you'll start to see slowly that your scarf is coming off of the needles this way i think this is like the most fun part because you're almost done after this you just have to weave in the loose ends and you've been working on it for a while so it's like i love how it just lets go of the needles here and yeah, you'll just start to see the scarf letting go and you'll do this basically till the end. And then when you're at the last few loops, we're just going to knit another one right here and pull it over. And then we're going to, oh, I did something weird here, but don't pay attention to that. Um, but then you're just going to just pull it over again, just knit and pull it over. And then you're going to knit the last one and we're going to pull the back one over it as well. And then after this, we're going to cut our work loose from our ball of yarn. Make sure to cut it again 20, 25 centimeters away 
just so you have that wiggle room to make it like go into the scarf later and then you're just going to pull it through and tighten it a little so it forms a little bit of a knot and then i'm going to show you how to weave in all the loose ends um so yeah let's do that First off, we're going to weave everything in on the back side, so the side you don't want to be the front, and you're going to tie the two things together because you'll have two threads basically anywhere except for at the beginning of your scarf and the end of your scarf, and I just did three little knots. I made sure to make the first one not that tight so it wouldn't like pull the scarf weirdly, and then you're going to weave the um, yarn into the color that the yarn is so the pink here will go in the pink this is not like the best colors i could have picked to show you but we're putting the pink in the pink and the white in the white here just so it's harder to see them uh, you can fold them over your needle like this the yarn and then pull it tight and then you can put it through the end of your needle i found that this works really well instead of just trying to push it through and um i'm going to show you two ways so the first way i just went up and down first through um, where the two colors connected and I just weaved it through like that just kind of whichever way I thought worked and then we're going to go up and down all the way through the knitting as well here and I'm going to show you how to do that here and I prefer to do this like three times so one time down then up and then down again but the thread I had here was a little short so I could only do up and down um, so then two is also generally enough. I just try to do two or three um, rows of this just to make sure that it's super secure. And it's pulled a little tight here, but I was just doing that because the thread is really short. And then we'll pull it loose again when it's all the way through. And this works really well. It like stays in pretty well. I always get a little scared that it's going to come out, but... It doesn't generally and we also tied it in a knot all the way at the beginning so it's pretty secure and then I'm just gonna stretch it so the thread goes all the way in and you really can't see it on the um, nice side and you can only see it like a tiny bit on the what's going to be the inside of our scarf basically and then on this other side I wanted to show you a different way of doing it so we're just gonna put it on our needle the same way we did before as well and with this technique you basically go into the side of the work instead of the back and you might see you have like these little like loop knot things and you're basically going to go in and out of those and you want to do it as neatly as possible so you can't really notice that you went through um so you kind of have to figure out what's the best way to go through it but i'm trying to show you as best as i can it's kind of like like itty bitty work um but you just kind of poke it through and then you go from the back to the front again from front to back and you just do that basically the whole length and this works really nicely um you can barely see it at all i had a really hard time seeing where i'd um, been with this but what i do like to do is after that go back down all the way just on the back um, side as well just to make sure that this doesn't come loose because this by itself might like I noticed if you pull the scarf then it will come out and you have like a little piece of yarn sticking out of your scarf and obviously we don't want that so I'm going to show you how to go back in a second as well and you just want to do this with all your loose ends and the reason I recommend doing this with just one color or one of those balls of yarn that has multiple colors within it is because I had to do 112 of these um, so if this is your first scarf that's not really a fun way to end it and it might like make you not want to knit a scarf again um, so I recommend using a thing of yarn that changes color by itself if you want multiple colors or just choosing one color that you really like um, but I have to say weaving in 112 loose ends it took me about three hours I think so that's pretty long but not as long as I thought it was going to take me and this is actually how I'm putting it back in as you can see here and then I'm just going to stretch it cut off the yarn like a centimeter away from where it is and then pull it so it goes in all the way and that's just it and you just have to do that to all the pieces on your scarf and then you're done and this is how the scarf turned out I'm super happy with it I love the colors I picked and it's just a super simple fun tutorial 
if you make a scarf with my like um, tutorial, please tag me on Instagram. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And yeah, I hope you're all having a really great day. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.